So today you guys, I'm gonna show you how I go from Simple Moms to Insta Ready. And I'm not a makeup guru, I don't have all the steps, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there can relate. And while we're speaking about Instagram, why don't you guys go over and follow me because my Instagram is pretty sad. I'm using the lightest purple in this palette. And this palette is by MAC and it's a Patrick Star Stay With Me, the floral palette. And I'm just gonna do my brow bone with that color. Next, I'm going a little deeper in the purple, and I'm going to be using that right above my crease line. And you guys, the names are not on the palette, so I can't tell you the names of the color. And I searched for them on the internet, but I could not find them. So uh, you guys just have to go with what I'm showing you. And I'm just going to try to blend that out and blend, blend, blend. As all the gurus say, that is the key. So I'm blending away. Now I'm going in with the deepest purple on the palette and I'm just kind of going to go over that um, other crease color and I'm going to go a little under it as well to give it a deeper look. Okay, now here's the hardest part for me is cutting this crease. I'm not good at it, but I'm trying here. And I'm going in with my concealer. It's a Maybelline concealer, dark, erase, dark spot eraser concealer. And I'm trying to get it just right and smooth out the line and make it like a perfect line. But it's not going to be too perfect, but it's going to do just fine for an Instagram photo. So I managed to get the cut crease on the other side. Now I'm going in with the lightest purple on the floral palette. And you guys can ignore the palette that I have in my hand. I'm just using it for the mirror. Now I'm going back into that deep, the deepest purple in the palette. And I'm just going to use that on the edges. Just try to blend that crease out so it won't look so hard and just blend everything together with the darkest color. And as y'all see, I'm blending and blending and blending away and blending some more. Just trying to make the look come together and so it won't look so hard and so dramatic. Now for the fun part, I'm going up under my eye with the NYX Chestnut Concealer and I'm just going to put it all up under just like the makeup gurus do it. And I'm going to add a little bit of my Maybelline Dark Spot Concealer and it's in medium deep just because the chestnut is a little too dark for me. Next, I'm going to highlight my nose. And then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit um, palette and it's in medium. And then I'm going to just contour my face. Okay, so now I'm done drawing lines and dots on my face. And I'm going to take my precision brush and then I'm going to blend everything all together. Right here, I'm taking my Buttercup setting powder and I'm setting all the spots that I highlighted 
And I'm using my sponge that came with my foundation. And no, it's not a beauty blender. And I'm just going to go over every spot. And you guys are not going to see me go over every spot because my camera died on me. And I am so sorry. So when my camera died on me, I did put on false lashes and I'm just going back over them with my mascara and it's the best mascara ever. It's the MAC False Lashes in Extreme Black and I'm going to put some mascara on the bottom lashes as well because it does make a difference in your pictures. I did put on a nude lipstick off camera as well. I put on the color Sweet Mama Star. It came with the floral palette and I lined it with a brown pencil. And right here, I'm just finishing the makeup look with some setting spray. And don't I look professional, y'all? This is it for the look. Um, I think I'm looking like a million bucks. I'm Instagram ready. But I am so over these steps. And I am done with this video.